Hi to all Tesla owners and Tesla engineers. We've, we've been working on one uh, project on Tesla the large drive unit. We, 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 we have been struggling to make this drive unit refurbish. We failed on three pieces and then we found, let's say something about 15 uh, spots on the drive unit, which are in a bad condition and we redesigned uh, coolant flow, coolant seal, we redesigned uh, drain for the coolant, if it gets inside, it shouldn't uh, touch the stator. You can see how the remain stator looks like after water ingress and it's unrepairable. We tried to cook the stator for three hours, 100 degrees then we tried 200 degrees but still we had issues with isolation each phase when it's disconnected should be about six mega ohm and now complete stator has something around one mega ohm or something like that and we were struggling because in in case when we have issue with the stator even if we refurbish everything else we we, we do not have solution for the stator that's why we started with this thing we gave this stator to one company and we were talking uh, about our needs what we need to do what sh what they should do and we tried to optimize consumption of uh, stator we tried to optimize uh, thermal dissipation that means we tried to make it uh, easier to transfer the heat from the stator to the coolant flow around the uh, casing and uh, the most important thing we reduced uh, consumption and we should increase the range of the vehicle that means all s85 s70 75 all rear wheel drive and all performance dual drive they got big drive unit i mean large drive unit but with the same issue and what we have noticed this is Riemann, Riemann, Riemann powertrain. That means this Tesla, that Tesla refurbished this one already, and we noticed that uh, those Riemann powertrains have degraded quality. Not only I'm not talking about the case. The case is same on Riemann powertrains. That's all powertrains which were uh, changed on the warranty, or if you buy one uh, on customer pay, you will receive this one. Uh, you never it's impossible now to get the old one p train which which was uh, uh it had only p train label without three men and they were uh, at least two times better quality uh on the la latest three men I'm, I'm i need to mention they they uh changed the quality of the uh, coolant seal and even on some portraits we found that uh it doesn't have three lips it has only one lip, which is destroyed after 50, 60,000 kilometers. Riemann power train, which you can buy now in Tesla, can hold only, only 100,000 kilometers. That's why uh, Hans-Jörg uh, with one, uh, one million miles Tesla, that's why he changed so many power trains because Riemann one are uh, uh, less quality. And uh, we changed everything of that because we wanted to make this powertrain to hold at least at least half million kilometers because it's possible the first powertrains which uh, were uh, made better with the better stator with better isolation with uh, wire in insulating uh, color uh, clear luck how to say it it was even that was better and uh, they had didn't have so many uh, isolation issues but uh, now it's even worse if you get if you get penetrated but by, by any uh, quantity of coolant you will get a, a complete complete uh, isolation issue for with uh, one mega ohm and uh, minimum is five mega ohms for system to get to get work this is example of tesla with 600,000 kilometers original battery we are repairing it now and this one had failed first power train with 500,000 kilometers, something like that, uh, first drive unit. And we found some different cases with 300, 350 uh, uh, 
and it's just around 300,000 kilometers with first powertrain. The Riemann one had, had, had failed on 100,000 kilometers. What we need to mention about this, we have on this one, we have one 1,000 mega ohm of resolution. We have optimized consumption and we have increased uh, range of the car. This will be fitted on my Tesla. We will make the first uh, prototype test on the road, real life test. And when we get real data from this one, then we will put 100 kilowatt hour pack on that same car. We will have with this battery and with, with this optimized powertrain, we should get above 550 uh, kilometers of range. But this is just a test and I hope if a test passes, uh, maybe we could invite Tesla Beyond to make the test, 1000 kilometer test and to see what, which results, results we got on this one. This is a really expensive project and this will be offered only for customer who wants this type of driving it because uh, with this type of epoxy uh, which is uh, uh, thermal conductive uh, is purely made uh, to dissipate the heat easily to prevent overheating of uh, windings and to prevent any coolant ingress now if coolant gets inside uh, it cannot damage the windings of the uh, stator phase and this is the part one when we start the next week with the assembly of the drive unit on my Tesla S85, we will uh, we will make, we will shoot the new video. But this is this is just introduction for our small project for Tesla community. And this is demonstration uh, to measure isolation. We will we will test on the old one first. Yeah, this is 2.5. This one is, uh, this one I think is from Germany. And this is really bad. When you connect all three to the inverter, we we got less than one mega ohm. Yeah, it's bad. And let's see now on this one. It's even more. This is six, this is, yeah, this is uh, six, thousand mega ohms for each phase this is something what tesla never did but we did and sorry tesla we did better